I could buy clothes. I could go to the barber shop. Every, and without ever leaving New Harbor. That's all changed. Over the years, it got to be a whole lot different. And that's unfortunate because it gives you a stronger sense of community. And the lady down the street, when your kid is old enough, starts having to run errands for her to the store or whatever. That's all gone now. And it's real. How you change it, I don't know. Well, I mean, I'm interested in partnerships. Like, like I'm from the South, they have um, business incubators where they're, they're building black businesses. They have partnerships with different churches, partner to, to do more community development. It's easier to get a grant if you're partnering together. So I'm interested in how uh, New Haven is trying to work to build business incubators, to partner to get grants in order to, to make these changes. I guess that's where I'm, I'm interested in those kind of dialogues. Uh, yeah, and, uh, that's, that's a really good point, um, sort of the, the innovation of government, right? Um, you know, for the next mayor to tackle some of these issues, uh, they're not going to be able to do it uh, through city government alone. Uh, it's going to be uh, have to be a strategy that's interwoven with, you know, state and federal partners, uh, as well as maybe looking for foundations that can, you know, uh, work with the city to... Um, put together new programs. Um, and it has to be multi-pronged. It has to be for the parent as well as, as the child. So, you know, uh, increasing access to preschool, uh, access to health care in school, uh, but also making sure that those parents have uh, the ability to educate themselves and, and find employment uh, because um, the family structure will not uh, progress if you, you don't tackle both.